Hey everybody, welcome back to Matthew's Reef. Today we're going to take a peek at this Bayite Smart Digital Thermostat. It's $35, check out the link in the description below. It comes in two sizes, the 10 amp and the 15 amp size. I'm going to be running a small heater for this system back here and a fan. So 10 amp is going to be more than enough for me. But if you're going to be running a chiller especially, you might just want to spend the extra $15, $20 and pick up the 15 amp. I have had the Neptune Apex in the past and it's absolutely fantastic, but I don't need to spend $500 to $1,000 just to control the temperature on this 24 gallon tank. Thank you guys for stopping by and without further ado, let's check out the Bayite Smart Thermostat Aquarium Controller. Nice and heavy. I always like nice and heavy. Looks like it comes with two things in the box. The main unit with the power supply and then it comes with the temperature probe. You can just replace these. I've had some before that were the same price, $35, and none of them lasted more than six months. Look how long this probe is. It's crazy long. I think I saw you can pick these up for less than $10. You just need a probe that has the microphone jack and you're going to be good. Again, this is the 10 amp, not the 15 amp. Really the only difference I've noticed between the 10 amp and the 15 amp is a thicker cord. That's about it. So it looks like what you got here, you got your heating side and your cooling side. And then you basically have your standard variation and your PV. I can't remember what that is, but we'll look at it in a second here. Uh, but it feels really solid. Reset button right over here. It does have the screw mounts on the back because I'm gonna be mounting mine underneath my aquarium stand. So this will be really handy for me. And then the plug-in right here for the temperature probe. Plugs right in. Buttons, you can hear them, feel pretty solid. Let's take a peek at how to program this. So let's turn this on and get to work. Okay, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, you just plug it in. If you don't have your uh, probe in, when you start up, it will have an error. You'll see up here and it'll make a little beeping. That's actually good because then you know if there's ever going to be an error, it will have an alarm built in, which is awesome. So just take it, plug it in, and you're good to go. Okay, this is top number PV is currently telling you what the current temperature is. The bottom number is what you have it set to. There's a few different things you need to set, so let's just go through that, all right? So first of all, in order to set something, you take the set button, you hold it down for three seconds, it will start blinking, okay? It's gonna come up with SV. SV is the temperature I want to set my tank at. So you just go up and down right here. I want my tank to be 78 degrees. That's pretty much what I want it all the time. So I have it set for 78 degrees. Then you press set again. It brings up HD. That's the heat differential. When do you want the heater to kick on? Uh, again, you can go up and down here. I like to keep it really close. So I'm gonna say 0 0.5 degrees Fahrenheit. So what that means is when it gets to 77.5, the heater should kick on. We'll test that out in a second. Then you go to set. CD, cold differential. When do you want the cooling side to kick on? So it's set for 78, so I have it set for two degrees. So when it gets to 80, it's gonna turn on the cooling side, which for me is gonna be a fan. For you, it could be a chiller, or you could have this set so that it turns off your um, LED lights, right? And then there's these other ones, doesn't really matter, you don't need to worry about it. So when you're done, just hit power. Okay, now that you've seen how to program it, let's see it in action. We have heating represented by the yellow light here, cooling represented by the blue light. Remember, we program, we set our standard value to 78 degrees. We set our heat deferential to be 0 0.5. So when this gets to 77.5 or 0 0.5 degrees less than our standard, this should click on, as you can see it is. And for the cooling differential, the CD, we set this to click on at two degrees, which means since our standard is 78, when this reaches 80, this should click on. So let's see if it works. So let's start by heating it up. 
off, on. Perfect. Now let's cool it down. Off, on. Perfect. All in all, uh, really happy. It seems really well made, especially compared to some other ones I've tried. I'll put a link to the older review up here at the end screen. So if you want to check out the Bayite Smart Digital Thermostat, 10 amp or 15 amp, just click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, everybody. Happy reefing.